So enough comparisons with the iPad. What's good and what's not about the EP121? Now the Core i5 processor on board, it's both good and bad. It's certainly a very powerful processor and it means that uh, everything that you do on this device is really fast and snappy. You might have 20 windows open on this at once and all of those windows going at the same time with true multitasking and it's going to be able to handle that sort of performance very, very well. On the other hand, having the Core i5 processor means that it does have a fan. Um, it also runs through a fair bit of power and of course with the bigger 12 inch screen as well. It certainly runs through batteries. Um, the the battery is not removable. It does charge very fast, but you can expect to get between three and four hours out of one charge. The folio case that it comes with is really nice. When you flip back the screen here, you can actually uh, just pop out a little strap there that allows you to sit it on the desk, either in portrait mode or in, uh, in landscape mode, so that you can actually sort of tilt the uh, device up a bit. And if you wanted to use it with the keyboard, then that's a really good option. I'll just give you a close-up view of the device here. You can see how thin the device is there. It's, uh, it's really uh, well designed. It's got rounded edges, so it does feel thinner than it actually is. Um, it's, uh, it's got nice fine buttons across the top there, really well placed. Uh, volume control on the side there. HDMI port, you've got your USB ports tucked away in there and you've got your SD card there as well as your HDMI port. And the other side just has the opening for the speaker there. So the speakers are really quite nice and loud, um, very clear. You've also got a webcam on the front there. You can see from that sort of close-up view that it's a really beautifully finished device and it's got, um, it's got a really nice profile and it feels really nice in your hands. And it has a really beautiful bright screen. And as you can see, the, the back of the device has a nice polycarbonate finish, which is really nice. Um, it's very durable, much more durable than the, uh, the aluminium back of the iPad, which tends to scratch and dent, as you can see there. Um, this, is, this is much tougher, and uh, it wears a lot better. Best of all, it's got a nice grippy surface so that it doesn't fall out of your hands. So the front button on the device, actually what it does is it, it cycles through the windows that you have open, which is a really nice feature. Um, so I can just stop there and uh, have a look at some files or flip over to my uh, media player. The handwriting recognition in Windows 7 is just absolutely remarkable. It's very easy to correct and edit as you go along. But uh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, my handwriting is pretty bad. But um, it'll get that right. And, uh, and it's very easy to correct and fix words. Um, one of the things that we actually do uh, at tablet PCs, we actually train people on how to do this efficiently and how to train the handwriting recognizer. I haven't trained it in this case, it's just simply out of the box, this is the way it is. And I'll just insert that text there. Um, I've got some functions in here called PenFlix, which is again part of Windows 7. It allows me to do some things like copy and paste and enter and, and things like that. I've set that up. Um, here's, a, here's a beautiful thing. In, in all of the Office programs, you can do this in PowerPoint, you can do it in Word, you can do it in your email even. Um, it gives me the ability to use some ink tools like pens uh, and highlighters that uh, enable me to actually go through and mark up documents and say uh, things like this, you know. Again, this wouldn't be possible without this smart digitizer pen. Of course, I can still use touch as well to scroll up and down the page. So, and that's a really nice feature too. So, um, so they're really, it's a really powerful uh, platform, the Windows 7 platform, especially when you have this active digitizer pen. Um, but Windows is very f friendly with touch as it is. Um, very easy to right click on, on something. So you've got that power of a, effectively a two button mouse just with your fingers. Um, but to actually drag files around and move them is, uh, is easy. Um, to access the network, or to find pictures, it's all very easy. Of course, the full browsing experience means that I can pull up a video on YouTube, for example, um, play it natively without any apps that I have to install, and uh, I could play that in full high definition, I can play it in full screen. Um, you can do whatever you want. The EP121 is not likely to show up in too many business scenarios, mainly because of its glossy screen, which is a bit uh, difficult to work with. Um, it doesn't have an internal 3G modem, which is really important for a device like this uh, in a business sense. Um, also, because it comes with Windows Home Premium, it's not really suited to the business environment. The lack of any docking options also make it difficult to use in business. Um, a device like this could be a desktop replacement. It's got an Intel Core i5 processor, so that's more than powerful, probably more powerful than a lot of the laptops and desktops that you have in your office. If you're looking for a tablet PC for home, 
and you want to be able to run your own web browser or run your own programs or uh, to be able to access your files directly off of your network or other PCs on your network or to be able to plug peripherals directly into the tablet device then the EP121 is going to be an absolute must.